On the number line above, P, Q, R, S, and T are five consecutive even integers in increasing order. What is the average of these five integers? Well, the fact that we know that they are consecutive even integers tells us that we have a difference of two between them. And so what this means is that Q equals P plus two, that R equals Q plus two, and etc. So in other words, basically, if we knew any one of these values, we'd be able to figure out the other four, and we'd be able to figure out the average very easily. So it turns out this prompt, unlike other data sufficiency prompts, this prompt is particularly data rich, particularly information rich. And we only need very little more information in, able, in order to be able to answer the question. So statement number one tells us that Q plus S equals 24. Well, if you notice, Q is 4 less than S. S is 4 bigger than Q. So really, this is Q plus Q plus 4 equals 24. Well, from that, we could solve for Q. And once we know Q, we could find all the values, and then we could find the mean. So that statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget statement number one. Statement number two tells us that the average of Q and R is 11. So Q plus R divided by 2 is 11. Q plus R equals 22. And R, of course, is 2 bigger than Q. So Q plus Q plus 2 equals 22. Well, again, we could solve for Q, which means we could find all the values, which means we could find the mean. So this statement by itself is also sufficient. Not a surprise that both statements are sufficient, again, because the prompt was so rich in information, we really only needed a tiny bit more information in, a, in order to be able to answer the question. So both statements sufficient, answer choice D.